While the school districts are still contemplating if they have to go face to face or virtual, something we educators have to do irrespective of how we teach is to create a syllabus. Trust me, students don't like to scroll through the 15 page syllabus just to see your contact information or the grading percentage. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I will be showing you how to create an interactive syllabus using PowerPoint and also teach you how to change that to a PDF where students can click and they have the information in one click of a button. Something like this. Click on the grading scale, click on the attendance, click on your contact information and they have everything in one place. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am on a blank presentation. The first thing I want to do is to go ahead and insert a picture. To do that, I click on insert pictures, online pictures, and I'm going to type in education. Or you can type in whatever you want. And I like this picture all the way on the right hand side and I'm going to click insert. As soon as I insert PowerPoint design kind of shows me how I want this to be represented or presented on my slide. I think I like the first one. I'm going to pick that and I'm going to close the design ideas. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to insert again and I'm going to insert a rounded rectangle. And again, you can pick the rectangle as big as you want or as small as you want. You can um, drag the rectangle as big as you want or as small as you want. Once this is done, I'm going to use the shape effects and I'm going to use the preset to give that 3D look. And I'm going to right click, format shape, and I do not want any line. That's perfect. And the color of the rectangle, I want to make it really light so I can type on the rectangle. Once that is done, um, I want to copy this rectangle. You're going to see why in a minute. I'm going to press and hold control and drag it. And there I have another rectangle. Now I want to change the color of this rectangle, but I want to make sure it matches the background colors. While I'm still on format shape, I'm going to click on this little arrow, use the eyedropper and pick the shape that I color that I want. I think I like this color. I'm going to reduce the rectangle. I'm going to use this yellow dot to make sure the curves match to the rectangle in the back. And once this is done, I want to create that painted effect. To do that, I'm going to right click, edit points. And as soon as I click on edit points, you see this black dots all the way around the rectangle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of them. And as soon as I click, you see two white squares popping up. I am going to drag them and right click on this point, make sure it is smooth. And you can see I have a curve right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Right click, make sure this is smooth. And the curve has to be inside. There you go. But I want to make sure I have a couple of more curves in between as well. So as you can see this black square, I'm going to right click at a point and I want to make sure that point is smooth again. So there I have another curve. I am going to make sure this comes down a little bit. That's perfect. And one last point. Making sure the point is smooth. You can play with these however you want just to make sure you get your desired shape. I think that is perfect. That kind of looks like it has been painted uh, slightly. Yep, that looks perfect. I like this. And once this is done, as you can see, I can move these things around, which I do not want to. So what I want to do is control A. I'm selecting everything. Right click and I'm going to copy. And you're going to see why in a minute. Once this is done, once I copy it, I'm going to click on a blank slide and I am going to right click format background and I'm going to click on picture and texture. Remember you copied the slide. Let's go ahead and use our clipboard to paste it. And voila, there you have it. Now nothing moves and you can focus on the most important things. Once this is done, let me go ahead and type in a welcome note or something it tells my students that this is my class. 
So I went ahead and typed in a little welcome note saying, welcome to Miss Cola's class. So they know it's my class. Once this is done, the next step is to go ahead and create those tabs. As you have seen in my syllabus, I have multiple tabs, but depending on what is important to you and your class, you can create as many or as little as you want. But for demonstration purposes today, I'm going to be creating three tabs. One is going to be textbook, contact me and grading. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on insert shape and I'm still going to use a rounded rectangle because that's my favorite. And here is my first tab. And I'm going to use my shape effects to give it the same 3D look. I'm going to use my eyedropper tool all the way on the right so that the colors match. Once that's done, I'm going to double click and I'm going to say text book. I'm going to go to the home tab and change the size and the font. You can change to whatever font you want. Once this is done, I'm simply going to click on it, use my control and drag it. So one's going to be textbook, one is going to be contact me and the other one is going to be grading. So double click, change it to grading, double click, change it to contact me. That's good enough. Now that I have three tabs, I need three slides. So let's go ahead and create those. Again, insert, new slide. As you can see, I have a blank slide. I don't want to recreate the wheel. So I am going to right click, format background. And here I'm simply going to say apply to all. So when I click apply all, it automatically applies to all the slides. Now let's go ahead and insert one blank slide for textbook, one blank slide for grading and one blank slide for contact me. So here I am on the first slide. I'm going to go ahead and insert all the names of the slides. So I went ahead and inserted a text box saying the first one is for textbook and then for grading and then contact me. So for textbook, it's totally up to you. If you want to place the picture of your textbook, you can do that or just give the information. To do that, I'm simply going to click on the text box and paste some random information here. But again, you can do whatever you want. The next one is grading. Here I have a couple of suggestions. So let me go back to my PowerPoint that I use in my classrooms. And as you can see, I have created a graph for grading. And again, this is totally your call. If you want to just give them the percentages, that's up to you. I suggest and I think students understand better when you give them a graph telling them that one grade weighs heavier than the other or weighs more than the other. But again, it's totally up to you. So I'm going to simply copy this, control C, and I'm going to go back here and I am going to place this. And there's my grading scale. And the next is contact me. And again, here you can totally just type in your email address or phone number, or if you want to make it fancier, you can simply click insert icons. And here you can type in an icon for your email and type in an icon for your telephone just to make it different or interesting i would say and go ahead and give your email address and your telephone once this is done the next step is to link your your slides to the text boxes that you have created but before i do that as you can see i have one two three four slides but the first slide was just to create the design so i'm going to go ahead and delete the first slide so i have exactly what i need so i'm going to go back to my first slide here click on the textbook remember i have to link the textbook slide to the textbook text box so again i'm going to click on it right click link and here I have an option to link to a web page or the place inside the document. But I'm going to click place inside the document and I'm going to see which slide do I want it to link it to. Slide one, no, slide two, because it says textbook. And here you have a preview of your textbook. Click OK. Same thing with the grading. Click, right click, link. And that's slide three. Contact me. Click, right click, link. And that's the last slide and click OK. Now let's go ahead and test if everything works. I'm going to click on slideshow. 
your textbook yes textbook comes up but as you can see I don't have a home page or a home button that I can go back to my home page so all I have to do is click on the next one next one now let's go ahead and create that home tab so that students have an option to go back to the home page so here I am on my textbook slide and I'm gonna click on insert shapes and let me move myself slightly up here so you can see shapes and all the way in the bottom you have action buttons and here you have a little go home button or icon I'm gonna click on that and you will see a plus sign go ahead create the icon and here it's gonna ask you what do you want to do you want to hyperlink it to the first slide which is my home page and I'm gonna click OK you can always format this as well you can right click and as you can see fill I want no fill an outline I want a darker outline and the weight I want this one and this outline also that's yeah let me change the outline to there you go and once this is done I'm simply gonna copy it control C let's go back to the next slide control V go back to the next slide control V now let's go ahead and test if this works here I'm on the first page slideshow textbook information about the textbook home page grading information about the grading home page contact me information about the contact me and home page and once all of this is done you're happy with what you have you can either save it and have it as a PowerPoint show or you can go ahead and save this as a PDF so let's go ahead and save this as a PDF and see if it still works I'm gonna save this as PDF I'm gonna say yes and I'm gonna save it on my desktop I'm just gonna say PowerPoint presentation one here is my PDF document so as you can see I can click and the textbook pops up go back to home grading go back home contact me and go back home so you have an option to save this as a PowerPoint presentation and have it to your students or as a PDF document. Both of them are going to be interactive. I hope you enjoyed this session today. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because there could be an educator who is really tired of answering the same questions again and again while all the answers are available in the syllabus. And did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and interact with me? And do not forget to check out the interactive PowerPoint playlist in the description box below. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.